180! Ted, congratulations. That was more like the, uh, the Ted Hankey that we know and love here. It just sort of went for me, Dave. I was a bit annoyed with a few people in the crowd. Um, obviously, I've spoke to the referee about it. He's done what he can. Obviously, he can only do so much, but they kept going. and It just wound me up, and I sort of like just went into my own world and just played darts how I can play darts instead of trying to slow players down. I just let them go, and they were going in. We know that's the, the great Ted Hankey when it flows like that, and I think the 170 was the, the perfect example. Well, it was strange because I think I think Dave was on 32 or something like that was there, and I'm thinking, go have a go with you, but you know what you want, you want two red bits and the big red bit. And they were just sweet, they just went in. And, you know, fair play to Dave afterwards, you know, as I bet the 170 walked back and he's tapped me and say good shot kind of thing, so I was, I was well impressed, yeah. 177 in the final leg as well, where Dave's probably setting up thinking, I, I could take this to a decider, and, and you go bang, 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 leave yourself 32. Funny thing, because 32 is my worst, worst double, and uh, big, big credit to Mervyn King because this morning Merv's picked me up and he's got me on the board and we've had a good hour's practice, me and Merv, and we was playing finishing and Merv kept leaving double 16 and I kept hitting it in one dart. So when I was up there and I knew what the shot was, I bet the 177 think to myself, I've not missed it all morning. And as soon as I get up there, I'm four week, you know, four miles away from it. And then I think I was miles away from double eight, miles away from double four, Dave's not finished and I've pinned the double two and I was... Well happy, to be honest, well happy. Did it feel a little bit like, I know there was probably more pressure in terms of the group on today, but having got yesterday's game out of the way, you, you could actually relax a little bit today? Yeah, it's strange with me, Dave. I mean, if you look back at my history at the Grand Slam, um, I think I've only ever won once on the Saturday. I seem to have lost every single game on the Saturday and I've qualified sometimes, and other times I haven't. I don't know what it is with the Saturdays where I can't play as well as I can, but, you know, today I felt pretty decent. I got things right, I got my medication right, and I really felt good. And, you know, it's gone well for me today, so I'm well impressed with myself. Great chance of going through now. Big big challenge against Michael Smith tomorrow. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how the group works out, but I've just got to go out to win tomorrow. And if I win, that gives me two wins. And then I think however the group works out, it's going to come down to legs difference. But hopefully I'm going to have enough to get through because I do feel I've got a lot more to offer, not just to myself, but to the crowd and to this tournament. Just need to keep you in that little zone, don't we? Well, that's it, innit? you know, I've just got to get it right tomorrow and hopefully things will go well for me. Well done. Brilliant today. Well done, Thanks, Dave. Cheers, mate. One.